brothers and sisters, it's such a delight to interact with you today. Thank you ever so much for joining us. This is Healing Streams, the place where God's word transforms lives and destinies. I pray that God will touch every area of your life in Jesus' name. Today's topic is hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah is one of the most common words in Christianity. Hallelujah occurs 889 times in the Bible as an expression of praise, thanksgiving, rejoicing, joy. About five years ago, I preached a sermon titled Hallelujah. And as I looked through my sermon notes, I realized that I also need a reminder. So today I'm bringing excerpts from that sermon to Healing Streams. Hallelujah, it's the sound of rejoicing. God wants us to rejoice at all times. He wants us to enter into a continuous season of endless hallelujahs. When the devil wants to deal with an individual, he steals their joy. Joy is one of the sources of strength. Nehemiah 8 verse 10, do not sorrow for the joy of the Lord is your strength. If the enemy can cut off the supply of joy, the battle is almost won. If the enemy can cut off joy, he can cut off energy, strength, passion, the will to live, vision, mission, purpose, and even destiny. I pray that your joy will not be cut short in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 19, verses 1 and 6. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia! salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude and as the voice of many waters and as the voice of mighty thundering saying, Alleluia for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. In heaven there's a constant cry, Hallelujah, Hallelujah for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Why are we talking about hallelujah today? God is saying there is victory embedded in your hallelujah. God wants us to say hallelujah, sing hallelujah, shout hallelujah at all times. If you will, let me give some background to the word hallelujah. If you look in many Bible versions, the King James Version, the New King James, NIV, you will not find the word hallelujah. Hallelujah is a Greek extraction of hallelujah. The word hallelujah is an English conversion of the Hebrew word made up of two parts. The first part, hallel or hallelu, which is an exhortation meaning praise you. And the second part, ya or ja, the name of God, the creator. Hallelujah is praise ye Jehovah or praise ye Yahweh. In the Hebrew Bible, from which the Old Testament comes, the word meaning hallelujah can be found at least 23 times in the Psalms. In modern Christianity, we simply translate hallelujah as praise the Lord, but many Bible scholars and linguists, language experts, don't fully agree. They say it means more than praise the Lord. The word hallel in Hebrew means a joyous praise in song. It means to boast in God. The use of the word hallelujah is not restricted to believers. The Webster's Dictionary defines hallelujah as a word used to express praise, joy or thanks, especially to God. It defines hallelujah as a shout or song of praise or thanks to God. It defines hallelujah as a word that is uttered in worship or as an expression of rejoicing. I was pleasantly surprised to find so much richness in the Webster's Dictionary. Hallelujah is also a word used by non-Christians to express happiness that a thing hoped for or waited for has happened. Such an individual might say, it's the weekend, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah is a combination word used to express praise, worship, joy, and thanks. And there is power in each of these components. When we say hallelujah, we combine the power of praise with the power of worship, with the power of joy and the power of thanksgiving. What an awesome equation. Hallelujah. 
definitely a word we should use as often as possible. I hope that after this session, you will say hallelujah as often as you can. Hallelujah is an expression or many expressions rolled into one. So we're going to spend some time looking at the expressions of hallelujah. An author wrote, the word hallelujah in Revelation 19 is used in heaven where a great multitude has gathered before the throne in the presence of God himself. It's the wedding supper of the Lamb. The enemies of God have been overthrown and the gospel has triumphed. It's a victory celebration. All heaven and heavenly beings render praise, render songs of thanksgiving. The sound of the outpouring of praise and worship is so overwhelming that the Apostle John can only describe it as like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters and like loud peals of thunder. So great is the rejoicing by God's people at the wedding feast of the bridegroom Christ and the bride, the church, that hallelujah is the only word grand enough to express it. Wow, hallelujah, what a word. During this session, I'm actually requesting your participation. If you can, please say hallelujah anytime I say hallelujah. You can also choose to type hallelujah in the chat box from time to time. And as you say or type hallelujah, God will ordain victories for you and your family in Jesus' name. So let's get started. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you said or typed hallelujah. Hallelujah is an exclamation, a sudden cry, or a remark expressing surprise or strong emotion, an exclamation of amazement. I pray that God will surprise and amaze you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. But you may be saying that hallelujah sounds like a happy word. Should I say hallelujah when I'm going through so much stuff, when I'm going through so many challenges? Sometimes it does look as if there's less and less to rejoice about. But even if your own individual life seems fine, people around you are experiencing serious challenges. Your country may be going through a crisis. Many nations of the world are in turmoil, recession, cost of living crisis, energy crisis, so much uncertainty. But what is God saying? God is saying, look up and shout hallelujah. God is saying the time to say hallelujah is now. Paul and Silas sang songs of praise while they were in jail and the prison doors were open. The wall of Jericho collapsed following the victory shouts of the people. Every Jericho wall set against your life will collapse in Jesus name, amen. Hallelujah does not mean an absence of challenges, but it means you're facing your challenges with the eyes of God, with the perspective of God, with the power of God, and with the glory of God. Say hallelujah at all times. Let's concentrate on the fact that we're still alive. God once said, only the living can feel pain. Only the living can have challenges, and only the living can praise God. One of the major ways you can show God you're alive is by shouting, hallelujah. If not, God can replace you. Luke chapter 19, verse 37 to 40. Jesus was descending near the Mount of Olives. The whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and to praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen, saying, blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, teacher, rebuke your disciples. But Jesus answered, he said to them, I tell you that if these should keep quiet, the stones would immediately cry out. I will shout hallelujah. A stone will not replace me. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 4, there is hope only for the living. It's better to be a live dog than a dead lion. 
If you're alive, there is hope for tomorrow. God has kept you till this day. Shout hallelujah. But I don't like my job. Hello, but you have a job. Many people would do anything to have a job. My children are giving me stress. Shout hallelujah because you have children who can stress you out. Despite the challenges, we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. What is hallelujah? Hallelujah is praise. The very word hallelujah means praise. Praise the Lord and we reply hallelujah. It's actually tautology or repetition. We're simply saying praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We are using every opportunity to praise our God. What is hallelujah? Number two, hallelujah is worship. Revelation 19 verse 6. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude as the sound of many waters and as the sound of many thunders saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Hallelujah is not just a call to personal worship. It's a call to congregational worship. What is hallelujah? Hallelujah is a song. The word hallelujah is sung as part of the Hallel Psalms. Those Psalms are interspersed between Psalm 113 and 150. I'll call them the Hallelujah Psalms. And in Jewish custom, most of the Hallel Psalms are recited or sung every single day. Psalm 113, verse 1 to 5. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God who dwells on high? Hallelujah. What is hallelujah? Number four, hallelujah means thanksgiving. Psalms 113 to 118 are recited as an act of praise and thanksgiving. Psalm 136 is referred to as the great Hallel. Psalm 136 verse 1 to 3 and verse 26. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah is one way of giving thanks. What is hallelujah? Number five, hallelujah is a prayer. What is a prayer? Having conversation with God, talking to God and him talking to you. Number six, hallelujah is a shout. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revelation 19, 6. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, as the sound of many waters and as the sound of mighty thunderings, shouting hallelujah for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Let somebody shout a thunderous hallelujah. Hallelujah. A shout of victory, a shout of breakthrough. It signifies a victory mindset. What is hallelujah? Number seven, hallelujah is the doorway to miracles, signs and wonders. It releases power for the impossible. There was a time I was praying for a child who had a kidney removed and the Lord said clearly, he said he would do more creative miracles. He would give new kidneys, new body parts if people would praise him more. May Almighty God give us the grace to obey and the grace to obey consistently. What is hallelujah? Number eight, hallelujah is the cry of deliverance. Shifts your gaze from your problem to hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20 to 23. Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and were saying, Praise the Lord, 
for his mercy endures forever. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushment against the people of Ammon, against Moab and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. For the people of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir to utterly kill and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, they helped to destroy one another. Wow, what victory. What is hallelujah number nine? Hallelujah brings increase, Psalm 67, verse 5 to 7. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Number 10, hallelujah means rejoicing, exuberance, celebration. Bible scholars tell us that halal denotes an exuberance. Psalm 150 is one of the hallelujah psalms. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel. Praise him with the dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and augers. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. What is hallelujah? Number 11, hallelujah is a celebration of the God we serve. The word hallel in Hebrew means to boast in God. Number 12, hallelujah is a prophecy that you will not hear bad news. Number 13, hallelujah is a command. The word hallelujah is an injunction to praise him. Hallelujah is a command. Rejoicing is a command. Philippians 4 verse 4, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Joy gives you strength and energy, strength to fulfill vision, strength of passion, strength for the battle. Joy is a tool in the hand of God. Joy is scientifically proven to reduce ill health and disease. On the other hand, sorrow, sadness, and regret is a tool in the hand of the enemy. Every enemy action against your hallelujah is put to an end now in the name of Jesus. Number 14, hallelujah is the pathway to pleasing God and receiving his favor and blessings. A lack of hallelujah can delay blessings. Your blessings will not be delayed in Jesus' name. It's a cycle. Hallelujah leads to blessings. Blessings lead to hallelujah. Number 15, hallelujah is the way to fulfill purpose and destiny. Why do I say that? I was created to make his praise glorious. As I said, I will not be replaced by a stone. Number 16, hallelujah means you're saying shame to the devil. I love that song. I'm going to dance and praise him. It doesn't matter what comes my way. The greater one lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. Let's say hallelujah regardless. Number 17, hallelujah is a sign of faith. It's the sound of trust. It's the sound of sacrificial praise. It's the sound of giving thanks before you see the answer. Number 18, hallelujah is the sound of eternity. It means you have heaven in mind. Hallelujah is our heavenly language. We join the angels and the 24 elders who are constantly saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. But who really has the privilege to say hallelujah? Who has the privilege to shout and be full of joy? The righteous, those who are God's children, those who are in right standing with God. God wants us to have all the benefits of hallelujah here on earth. And he wants us to make it to heaven where we will praise him forever. And God has created this pathway through his son, Jesus Christ. 1 John 4 verse 9. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. You can accept Jesus Christ and change the course of your life and destiny right here, 
right now by saying this prayer with me. And the prayer is visible on the screen. Please let us pray. Almighty God, I confess that I have done things my own way. Going forward, I choose to do things your way. I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my savior and as my Lord. Lord Jesus, please come into my life. If you said that prayer, you have joined or rejoined the family of God, or you have reaffirmed that you belong to God. Congratulations if you've just joined God's family. To continue your Christian journey, please join a Bible-believing church. In addition, please send a message, a text message or a WhatsApp message to the number on your screen, 0708-225-6051, stating, I gave my life to Christ. If you're outside Nigeria, don't forget to add the code plus 234-708-225-6051. We'd like to help you navigate the next steps. The title of today's message, Hallelujah. God wants our hallelujah to be constant. When you feel anxious, depressed, discouraged, do the opposite of what the enemy expects. Shout hallelujah. Anytime you feel like complaining, say hallelujah. When you're joyous and victorious, sing hallelujah. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, shout hallelujah. Can I suggest some actions from this session? Read and meditate on one or more of the Hallel Psalms daily. Every day, say hallelujah as many times as you can. There's nothing wrong with a thousand hallelujahs, 10,000 hallelujahs. And then let hallelujah become your way of life. I would like us to take some prayer points together. There are quite a number, so please follow on the screen. Prayer point number one, Father, let me sing hallelujah at all times, regardless of the circumstances. Give me the grace to say hallelujah in season and out of season. Give me the grace to praise, to worship, to give thanks and to rejoice. Prayer point number two, O oh Lord, let me reap all the benefits of hallelujah. Let me have peace, joy, increase, fruitfulness, multiplication. As I say hallelujah, I give praise, worship, I give thanks. Let my enemies be utterly defeated. Let them ambush one another. As I say hallelujah to you even right now, let every obstruction against my destiny be removed. Let hallelujah bring complete deliverance from every shackle of the enemy. Let my shout of hallelujah bring victory for me. Let my song of hallelujah bring healing to my body. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number three. Father, please destroy every force of darkness militating against my hallelujah. Lord, please deal with anything that is taking my joy away. Father, please deal with anything that is taking away, that is draining my strength and my passion. My supply of joy shall not be cut off. My hallelujah shall not be cut off. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number four is based on Psalm 126, verse 1 to 3. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. Our mouth was filled with laughter, our tongue was singing. They said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad. Heavenly Father, let the joy of life and living return to me. Turn around my captivity. Fill my mouth with laughter and my tongue with singing. Let my hallelujah release power to make the impossible possible. Lord, give me a new beginning of joy, hope, restoration, rejoicing, thanksgiving, and praise. And prayer point number five is a simple but very powerful one. Oh Lord, let me bring you joy at all times in Jesus' name. Prayer point number six are your personal prayer requests. I would like to agree with you in prayer. Matthew 18 verse 19 tells us that if any two persons shall agree in the name of Jesus, it will be done by our Father. Please lift up your voices to Almighty God, the omnipotent God. He wants to hear you. He wants to know 
what's on your heart, even though he knows already. Lift up your request. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your precious promises. We're thankful that when we pray, you answer us. I agree with all those who are listening to me right now that their prayers will become testimonies in the name of Jesus. And let those testimonies begin right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for praying along with me. As we pray further, please feel free to type amen in the chat box. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the shout of hallelujah will never depart from your lips in Jesus' name. As you shout hallelujah, God will visit you with his splendor, with his glory, with his power, and with his strength. Your hallelujah will result in miracles, signs, and wonders. Hallelujah means rejoicing, exuberance, and celebration. Your joy, your rejoicing, your celebration will last forever. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. My hallelujah belongs to God. Who does your hallelujah belong to? Revelation 19, verse 1. After these things, I heard a loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Alleluia! Salvation and glory and honor and power belong to the Lord our God. Hallelujah! Please join me next Saturday at 8 a.m. West African time for the next edition of Healing Streams. Please like this video and share it. Bless someone today. You might even win a soul. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel you're watching, TOD House of Favor or Healing Streams with Femi Piton. Please click on the bell icon so you'll be notified when Healing Streams is on air. Thanks to our Facebook family for joining us today. You can also follow Healing Streams with Femi Piton on Instagram. At Healing Streams with Femi Piton, you can view all the videos in one place. You can view back episodes without scrolling through months and months of material. And may the Healing Streams of peace, joy, mercy and love flow towards you and your family. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom.